Hi friends, welcome to my English cap. How are you doing? Please share and subscribe my channel if you find it useful. Enjoy learning with me. When I heard the learn astronomer was written by poet, teacher and civil war volunteer nurse Val Whitman. Whitman first published When I Heard the Learned Astronomer in 1865 in his poetry collection Leaves of Grass. In the poem, Whitman conveys his belief in the limits of using science to understand nature. One needs to experience nature for true understanding instead of measuring it. The poem gives an account of the speaker's experience of listening to a tiring lecture of an astronomer it also illustrates that this mystery of nature cannot be summed up in facts and figures the poet explains that true knowledge can be gained when we observe the sky in solitude this poem is an example of whitman's characteristic free verse Free verse is a type of poetry that does not contain patterns of rhyme or meter. This is a free verse poem with no strict rhyme or meter. The setting of when I heard the learned astronomer changes as the poem progresses. In the first half of the poem, the setting is a lecture room where an astronomer is lecturing to an audience on the subject of the stars. The speaker however soon leaves the lecture room and goes outside. It's night time and the air is slightly damp. The natural world is filled with a perfect silence. Overhead, stars shine beautifully in the sky. When I heard the learned astronomer, when the proofs, the figures were ranged in columns before me, when I was shown the chart and diagrams to add divide and measure them when i sitting heard the astronomer where he lectured with much applause in the lecture room how soon unaccountable i became tired and sick till rising and gliding out i wandered off by myself in the mystical moist night air and from time to time looked up in perfect silence at the star students now we move on to the summary of the poem in detail when i heard the learned astronomer when the proofs the figures were arranged in columns before me when i was shown the charts and diagrams to add divide and measure them when i sitting heard the astronomer where he lectured with much applause in the lecture room Dear friends here the speaker listens to an esteemed astronomer's lecture on the stars the astronomer displays various mathematical proofs and evidence in columns to the audience in support of his scientific argument the astronomer also displays various charts and diagrams and explains the mathematical calculations behind them the repeated use of list in the first half of the poem is meant to symbolize the sense of boredom the speaker felt imagine a lecture be merely a long list of facts that you cannot follow and do not understand trying to pay attention to the lecture could easily become a mind numbing exercise the fourth line of the poem goes on to describe not just the lecture itself but the response of rest the audience apparently the poet was the only one in the room not hanging on the astronomer's very word others are enjoying the lecture of the learned astronomer very much how soon unaccountable i became tired and sick till rising and gliding out i wandered off by myself dear students the second half of the poem beginning at line 5 starts with the speaker's reaction to dry material of the astronomy lecture the speaker sits in the audience who all appall the astronomer's lecture with great enthusiasm very quickly and unexplainably the speaker finds the all lecture unbearable the speaker is disappointed where are the stars 
Excuse me, sorry. The speaker rises and leaves the lecture room alone. In the mystical moist night air and from time to time, I looked up in perfect silence at the stars. He walks outside. What a difference. He is alone and the night air feels fresh and dewy. He wanders away from the lecture hall. There is a magical quality to the surrounding nature. Occasionally, the speaker looks up at the beautiful stars overhead and embraces the silence of the night. No words of explanation could possibly capture them. It is then that he realizes the true beauty of nature. Dear friends, let me conclude what we learned today. When I heard the learned astronomer is a short narrative poem about learning against experiencing. It can be summarized as depicting Whitman's preference for a naturalistic view of the world over an analytical one. The poet describes feeling ill and bored during a scientific lecture on astronomy. Then, after going outside and looking up at the stars, he seems to feel better. The poet believes that nature can be appreciated and understood only by experiencing it firsthand. Dear guys, I hope you enjoyed today's session. Post your feedback and doubts at the comment box. Thank you and goodbye till we meet again.